Hey everyone, welcome back. Deft here. So we got a little bit more energy today. Feel a lot better. Been taking some medicine. Sorry about the last video. I know it was a little rough with my audio. I did the best I could. I just really wanted to get it out once we f I found the crucible and the way to make linen. It's helped a lot. So we I've made a bunch of that. I've probably, I don't know, made a couple hundred pieces. So if you haven't already, go ahead and start farming and gardening and get your linen growing. You're going to need a bunch of it if you want to make the armor sets. I've made another field. I already picked the first field. This field was twice the size it is now. I had to use all that because I've been trying to make one of each set of armor just so I can get a couple videos out going over the different types of sets so right now i'm currently wearing the adventurer set i just liked it because it looks better than the other set which i can show you really quick so this is the tank set the other new set that we got so then we got to equip that one time everybody who wants to see which set they want to build in case you don't have as many materials as i do right, then this is the tank set it doesn't look bad I just prefer the other one, so <laughs> we're going to keep that one on for now. At the same time, let's go ahead and go over here. We've got a quest he just activated for some reason. I don't know why. Let's see what he wants. Let's see, Hearts of Iron. So he says the best iron ore can be gathered at Ridgeback Mine deep below the shroud. So I'm assuming that'll open up some more armor sets, maybe weapons for us too. And he says don't fret with enough shroud passage level. It shouldn't stop you. So worst case, we can take probably a bunch of potions with us. Location is way over here. So we're going to have to clear the capital before we get there since it's beyond the shroud. I.e. we need to go in there and kill that wyvern boss on his other quest. Uh, here, let's go ahead and advance or craft the advanced the glider just so it'll help us out a little bit 150 percent range 15 speed four stamina per second shroud wood linen string and shroud sacks again the shroud sacks you get those from the blue flowers and the shroud that attack you then we're going to craft one of those so that's a quest completed and then we'll make sure we equip all of our gear back and equip our new glider and you might have noticed these chests are a little bit different these are medium chests so they add a whole extra row i've just been storing the armor here for now and from there we have two choices to make really we can head back over here to where our amber mine is at and then make our way through this path and try to get up here to the crucial investigation in this flame shrine or we can go back to the ancient spire then glide to the flame shrine here and this quest marker and then hit this flame sanctum you definitely want to touch the flame sanctum since they're giving us like 300 xp i think we'll try to clear out these top ones and then that way we can try to push down towards the capital itself let's go ahead and get up here to home level one all right looks like we made it to where it wants us to go for the quest there's a respawn out in front of this place and we're at glenwood's end new location charted 150 experience points let's go ahead and move inside of here a small village looks like scavengers are going to be in here new quest a crucial investigation so we have to check all these houses out we're going to work our way from bottom to top see what level these guys are 15 I am ready for a new weapon now. Maybe that'll help our stats out some too. So let's go ahead and jump into this house right here, see if we can find anything good. Like always, I'll break stuff down at the end instead of doing that all in the videos. So if y'all don't see me busting on the crates, that's why. See, so we have a fort on this side too with some flowers guarding it. Let's go ahead and kill these flowers while we're right here. Of course, I'm in the mud. Looks like holding your shield up to block them helps a lot. Then we have a chest down here and another loot pile that we can search in this little tent. And the lockpick laying right here. So we'll go up there in a minute. We're going to just pick up these bodies, go back out here, like I said, and check out this one little house really fast. A bunch of rats to greet us as soon as we come in. Then the basement of the house, there is a chest. We'll grab that. It's just another explosive bomb. I didn't see anything else down here. Upstairs, we just have some more rats and some beds we can sleep in if we need to reset the nighttime, which we'll probably end up having to do. I prefer to rec not record at night just because it's harder to see. From there, let's head down the street over here to this little dilapidated looking house. Make sure we don't have anything valuable in these carts. See yeah, another horde of rats in here. I don't see anything in this house except for a bed to sleep in. I'm going to glance over here really fast, make sure there's nothing on this side of the little village. It looks like there is another way up on that far corner. So we do have a ladder over here going, taking us up. I'm not sure to where exactly. See anything behind here? Chest behind this plant. More bombs. I don't know what we need all these bombs for. <laughs> see, we have a grapple point up. Grab a point across. I think we got to be careful because I think the poison will keep us from doing that. We can test it real quick. Yep. Poison bed. <laughs> and then we have bombs right here waiting for us to land. Tons and tons of traps laying around everywhere. Lots of mud pits. So don't think there's any reason to drop in there. It looks like it was just a big explosion crater with a bunch of bodies at the bottom. And I guess I could slide in there. I'm just scared it's going to be a pain to get back out. Because we're headed up to the top of this corner house. Sounds like we have a bunch of spiders inside. And a way to climb up on the outside. Guess we can check this out. I 
Not sure why there's so many ways to get inside of here. Then we have a chest on top. You could grapple up here, so double jump's not necessary. Then we'll break inside. See, this says open on it. It's another secret door. Silver chest behind it. Just the basic hatchet inside. Some loot in the fireplace. If that was anything else up here worth getting, we do have the spiders below, so let's drop down on them. That's the jump attack. If nobody's, I don't use it very often because I forget about it. It's uh, pretty powerful when you're surrounded. Lock picks and some good loot on some of these shelves in here. Oop. I did not mean to grapple like that. That's the problem with the extending ladder. <laughs> or grapple, rather. It'll take you all over the place. Let's see, it's dismantle. So that must be why the books have dismantle on them, just to make you think there might be something behind them. And I did find a use for the critter parts. If you're a mage, you're going to want those so you can build mana potions. Also, it looks like we cleared this place out. I don't think we missed anything in there that's important. Walk around the outside one time just to be sure. And then we'll head back down and then make our way through the front of the village so we can track our progress. See, nothing on the way up the steps except some guys that are going to shoot at us. Looks like quite the large area, so it's definitely gonna take a minute to get through here. So we're gonna start on the right, I guess. Wait, is somebody after me? Yeah, there's a bunch of people inside here. I remember these mobs are on level 15. Let's take a look and see what we have inside of here. Looks like there's a lot of lockpicks just laying around, so make sure you walk by everything. I guess we can go ahead and let these guys inside just so we can finish them off. The chest behind this wall. Oh, nope, one of my least favorite guys, the cleaver guy. So I'd like to find a high ledge to fight him from. Remember, he can jump too, so don't think jumping's going to get you away from him. And he will chase you quite far. I was hoping that we could get on top of this crank. Yep. There we go. Wait, I can't climb. <laughs> Alright, double jump saved us right there because we couldn't climb up. We are going to have to get rid of that one guy. He's going to blow this place up. Surprised he hasn't, he hasn't already. Oh, the cleaver guy's not here that we can get back down. guys in here hiding. <laughs> like a scavenger stronghold. We do have some loot box right here. Let's grab that. I'm sure there's nothing too valuable in most of the loot here that we don't already have. Let's see a grapple point going up. Let's see what's on this first floor. Place to sleep. Some more loot. Another chest right here. Now you probably could find a bunch of linen in here if you break all this stuff down. It's just that we're getting a ton of t torn cloth and metal parts and things that we don't need. So you can go across the way too. Check this side out. Like just a balcony to go outside. I don't know if there's any reason for this, except that we probably could have jumped across from that crane. We'll check the top here, see if there's anything worth getting. Yep, there's a door up here. A giant golden pot. I don't know if those are worth breaking or something, but I don't see any other reason to be in this room. So this building looks clear. We're going to keep moving back outside. Still need to clear this larger building. Got interrupted by that cleaver guy. I need to find a good spot to fight him from. I think from the second floor in here will be a good place. I'm going to repair our equipment right here too. Oh, 
What are you guys doing here? Didn't I just clear this door? Again, tons of metal scrap, lock picks, and stuff lying around everywhere, so just make sure you search all the tables. And let's go ahead and go downstairs for a second. You need a lock pick on this door. It looks like there might be some more or something behind it. We got a page right here. The crimes of Glenwood's End. Looks like these guys killed somebody important to the king, so he sent out his people to take care of them and punish them for it. I don't see anything else worth our time looting down there. Let's try to find that second floor so we can fight the cleaver guy from the top. Hoping he won't use the stairs to come get us. Hope that took us outside so that dude might be on his way. That's the case. We'll find somewhere to hide. Because <laughs> I'm not. I, I don't like fighting them toe to toe right now. I, I can take them. It's just it takes too long. I'd prefer just to burn them down with magic. And plus, if you mess up, you'll die. Let's see what we have outside. This is where I was thinking about fighting him if I can see him, but he's probably on the first floor now, waiting on us. Oh no, there he is. He's way over there by that barrel. Let's see. Can we hit the barrel from way over here? I'm actually getting kind of low on arrows. Will he walk over here or is he going to stay that side? Pretty sure he's out of range right now. Let me see. Can we get on this rooftop? Hey buddy, you just stay right there. Alright, we got him down. We'll have to try to remember to loot that body in a second. Like I said, I want to go ahead and finish this house off though. So we have some more loot in here. Let's grab that. Just more basic stuff. Lock picks. Silver chest by one of the bookcases. Elder staff. On the top floor, we have a mysterious flask again. I don't know if we actually get the fl mysterious flasks. Because I pick them up, I guess they just turn them to elixir or maybe a wisp of light. Let's read the note from Investigator Lachlan. New lore page scavengers, royal investigation. I didn't sleep the night through. But the note pretty much is Lachlan telling the king that people are addicted to the elixir. It's ruining their daily lives and turning them into monsters. He's locking his door to stay safe. Today we do have a grappling point above us. Let's go ahead and jump on that. Well, a torch out. still the early hours. Kind of hard to see. There is a chest up here. More bombs. I, I just don't know where we're going to do with all these bombs. Tons of loot up here. It looks like there might be some attic space above us. I don't really see any way to get up there. And I'm not actually not going to work too hard to get up there because every time I've done it, I've found nothing above us. And watch, this will be like that one time there is something there. Okay, don't jump on the fire. Loot our cleaver body, then we're going to move into this house right here that's connected to the one we just cleared. That isn't anything good in there. Let's go ahead and run across right here to this house that's connected to the one we just went through. So far this is a really big zone, so I'm going to try to keep all this really short, so I'm going to be cutting a lot out. Then we have a chest right here behind the bookshelf as soon as you come inside. Fireball, prayer scroll, nothing too crazy. We can drop down from here, but we're going to go up first. And I'm trying to open up all the doors just so we can see what's around us. Somebody shooting at us? I don't know where from exactly. I don't like when we get shot at randomly and I can't go find the guy, especially when he's blowing stuff up. Maybe he's below us, but we get some loot right here. Let's grab that. Basic hardwoods. There's no reason for me to come up here. We 
do have a chimney here. I don't know if I should even risk jumping in that. Maybe it'll just take us to the first floor. There's the guy shooting us right below us. Hold on to like the present. Let's just try it. Oh, that hurt. I knew that was a bad idea. We'll open this. Hopefully I can get back out. It's always my fear when coming into spaces like this. Always keep your pickaxe ready and then hope it works. <laughs> Let me see if we can go through the top wall. Of course it's flintstone. I don't see any damage being done to it. I knocked out a side wall so we can definitely get back out of this place. Right into all the enemies. Did we not use this door a minute ago? Is this like a... Oh, this is like a different little room. It would have taken us straight to the chest. Very nice design. Something a little different, a little confusing. <laughs> Back outside again. Such a weird little guardhouse they built. There's a basement on here, so that's why I'm going back inside to look at. You can climb up and jump up if you need to. Why would we want to climb up here? Oh, I guess in case you don't have double jump. Like I said, some abilities you just don't need. It just makes life a little faster, a little easier. We have a chest right here on the front of this. That's probably pretty loud. Tons of loot, but a chest behind a bunch of vases right here in the middle of the town where we killed the cleaver. I'm trying to figure out the best way to systematically continue clearing this place. I guess we'll go into here next. I think we're in the gel house now, so we'll be thorough here, check everything. So far, I haven't found anything amazing. Treasure chest farther down in the cells. Don't know what's up with this. I think this is just a graphical error. There's a big black rock sitting in between all these metal pages. Says it's just dirt. And I just saw a scavenger. I think it was another matron show up on our map. Okay, so yeah, we just dug through the mud hole. <laughs> And let's get back into our hole. It just looked weird, so I needed to test it out real quick. So I think the matron must be up yeah, right there. Scavenger, Gorger, mate, matron. Must be above us since we're getting closer to it. So we'll check that out in just a second. Let's go back this way. I think this is that building we just cleared. So we went to the top of this building. It's got a grapple point to go across. Ooh, nope, no. Why did we do that? Yeah, let's try this one more time. Now we made it. That time it didn't force me to, like, triple jump. So we're chest right here. Hunter's bow. <laughs> Completely not worth the effort to run back up here. Still can't use this gate for some reason. And there's a lot more building above us. I'm just not sure how we're supposed to get up there. Or if we're supposed to get up there at all. Okay, so we made the jump. It's like one of the developers wanted to get creative with a puzzle because it looks like there could be something all the way at the top. I don't see a way to get to it. I guess if somebody finds a way up there, let me know. I don't see one unless there's a hidden door somewhere that I'm missing. So let's get back to our exploring. I think the matron's in this bigger mansion looking house because that's where she keeps showing up at. So we'll jump down here and go to this lower house. I'm going to hold off fighting her for as long as I can. So in this building, there's a chest at the very bottom. Sort of think they're not worth it. They're just giving us potions. We might need the potions in a minute, though. 
truth be told. Looks like there is an attic in this place, but I don't see a way to get up. So maybe I'll have to do some jumping. Don't see anything on this first little space. So we'll try to get to this next one. And there's nothing on top of this one. I just put a lot of work to get up here and there's nothing there. I will not be dropping into this chimney, that's for sure. <laughs> so yeah, from here, we, I think we're about good to keep continuing around. We'll keep picking up all these small loot piles just in case we find something good, something new. I think iron's probably gonna be our next resource that we find though. So let's go over here and clear out these enemies we saw earlier. I think we've been in this, we've been in this little house, right? This puts us back in the center of town. We should have definitely been here. Oh yeah, this is, okay, this is how we got into the jail. I was not expecting to have to explore like an entire mini city. Okay, so we did this big building, then we got enemies over here. I think there's some down here in the grass too. Let's go ahead and grab them. Okay, I know there's a bomb guy that just shot at me. Where's he hiding at? Okay, well, not too worried about it. We'll come back inside of here. Let's pick back up where we left off. Now, this is probably gonna be the whole video, I guess, just exploring through here and killing the matron. We'll see what it comes out to once I cut it down. Again, if I missed anything, guys, be sure to drop that in the comments. I definitely, I do read the comments. I respond as soon as I can. And a little camp in the back here. I guess we can check this out too. I wonder if maybe the matron's on the top of the mountain. So maybe we should finish the houses first. Yeah, we'll go ahead and finish all the little houses and structures and then move to the top. Oh, I heard the hit point bar is here for it, so maybe it's in here somewhere. We'll just have to be careful. I definitely don't want to be locked in a room with it. Basic loot right here. I'm not sure what's below us. This is just taking us back to the back to the dungeons. I do hear gunfire. Somebody's definitely unhappy with us. I'm assuming they're on top above us on the hill. So we have a chest in here. Chain lightning. Well, that's a lower level as far as I can tell that's cleared. So now that we have the upper level. Up oh, there's the matron inside of here. Trying to figure out the best way to fight. Again, we do not want to fight her face to face because the poison damage is so high. Okay, so we came back across to that big tower and then made our way, jumped across once we climbed back to the top of it. So hopefully we can drop down from above on top of her. See, first I want to look on the rooftop while we're up this high. Make sure there's nothing hidden on the little ledge. I don't see anything so far. I guess we can drop in here. Need to be careful we don't get thrown back down too low. Let's see if we can land on the beam. We we'll get around the beam we are being shot at though. I don't know if they can knock down all this lumber and stuff. We're going to finish exploring before, in case we do have to go down there. Yeah, I don't see anything valuable up here. I'm going to assume just a safe space to fight the matron. Let's see, where are you at? She's got a bunch of friends downstairs with her. So we definitely want to look out for those. I'd prefer to stand on wood while fighting her. Or not wood, but stone. Does it doesn't look like she can reach us from here. I wonder if we can magic attack her from up here. Nope, we're not reaching. What if I cro crouch down, maybe? That nope, looks like she's still too far away. And she is a female, in case somebody's thinking, why you keep calling her she? It is a female. Okay, now we're making damage. So I'm just gonna sit here and finish her off through this little gap. Alright, she's down. Quest completed a crucial investigation. Now we just need to get the ads down. Still don't see any loot up here, so we'll go ahead and walk down here. Should only be one or two left. See, let's check outside this window too while we're up here. Again, I don't see anything important.
Make sure you loot her body for the trophy. Sometimes they do give us good armor like this. Shield's not bad. And then we have a legendary chest over here in the corner. Warrior arms. 15 and 7. Some of those are better than what we currently have. Okay, we're at 15 and 7 with 3% melee damage. And this one gives us 6% one-handed melee damage, so we're gonna put those on. And they probably look much, much better than our current set. Let's see, let's take a look if we can eat. Yep. <laughs> that looks a lot better. I think we'll get more of this when we get iron. It's the only thing I can think of. I think we're cleared here. Let's go ahead and move up this path over here on this side now. See if there's anything good above us. Like, that rock right there looks different. Maybe that's iron. We can try to knock it out in a second. Oh, what is, oh, flame shrine's up here, okay. If you find flint stone, I, I, if you want to build with it or anything, I'd advise saving it. It does take a little bit, little bit of time to mine, but we do have the copper pickaxe, and I did go ahead, I didn't go over this yet, so I did go to skills, and I did go ahead and put some points into our mining, so we have quality gear, durability 50% slower on our tools and stuff, and then we have mason, pickaxe steals, 30% more damage against stone and resource veins, and that really, really, really helped a ton with mining copper. All right, well, I guess we are clear. I don't know if we can get up there. That might not be stone. Maybe that's supposed to be snow. Because that whole mountain's the same color. So, like I said, guys, I think we've cleared out this whole side of the map for this one quest. Yeah, looks like we're in a valley now. Only thing we have left to do is come over for this flame shrine, this flame sanctum, and to work on a rumble in the catacombs. We could probably get that one done if I if I edit enough on this one. Because the catacombs are usually fairly small. I really do want to go up there and break that, but I don't see any way for me to get to it. But I, I'm almost willing to bet it's just stone. So, we'll just keep moving on. We do have an iron location marked on the map for one of the quests. So, let me go over here to this other place, and we'll check it out really fast. Thank you.